Hi guys and girls, welcome back to Watch The Time. Thanks for tuning back in, thanks for coming back to see me. I'm really pleased you've done so, and I'm really pleased about to bring you my second Nomadic. Um, the first one, my review, I can't say it was exactly glowing. It wasn't a bad review, I don't do bad reviews. Um, just generally, I've got a lot of respect. I'll be honest about stuff, but I don't go in on companies. Um, I'll pick stuff out and I'll say I wouldn't recommend it and stuff, but that's as far as I go, I don't like slandering people or, or or brands or anything like that but they were good enough to send me over their second watch it's the it's the is it Churas 914 i'm not gonna lie when i saw the model number i was thinking it's got a 914l stainless steel it doesn't fyi just so you know it's yeah it's not it's 316 but yeah that that maybe that's just me being a watch i did expect it to have that it could be a little bit misleading for some i don't know but um it's a sports watch uh, you could use it looks like a really a real guard watch um it it does look very cool i think this looks far better than their diver looks like there's been a little bit more thought put into it um and this one could be the one to buy from nomadic but is it we're gonna get there together with hopefully by the time i get to the end of the video you know if it's for you if it is please use the link in the description not an affiliate link just makes your life a little bit easier so what am i gonna say now get yourself a beverage sit back relax this is about that time to get the camera turned around and get on with it. All right, guys, so this is the watch. This is the packaging I've received. A handy sort of travel pouch that you can sort of store another watch in as you're wearing it. Uh, just comes with some instructions. Um, yeah, I'm sure you'll get a warranty card and stuff as and when you buy yours. What I did like about what the hell they've done this, just give me one second, push that back in. So on the other side, they've got space for a screwdriver, which I actually used. The size of the watch um and i think it's actually quite a nice substantial screwdriver so that was nice to see uh you got another compartment in here i haven't opened this so if there's anything in it uh, i got some loctite and there's a there's a link that's been taken out that i didn't put in there so i presume that the person that sized this before it was sent over to me that's what they've done but you can see there's a link in there that i did take out so i've only used taken one link out myself um yeah screw pins uh, you'll see the bracelet in just a moment nice and comfortable uh, i can see how you could uh, utilize this in day to day uh, in terms of if, if this was your daily wear you bring another watch in there and you can carry it around with you nice and easy uh yeah not too bad at all and then what you're left with this time i've remembered to take the crown out i'm very chuffed to myself <laughs> so this is the churas 914 as i said in the intro um, just from being a bit of a watch geek, I did expect it to have a uh, 914L stainless steel, but that's not the case. Uh, Le Churas 914, uh, I'll bring some information up. This is what it's referring to in terms of why they've gone with the name and stuff, but um, there we are. There's uh, two different color variations to choose from in addition to this one. So I'll bring them up now uh, just to help you sort of see what may be more in keeping with your taste. But um these are coming at just over a thousand pounds, so not insignificant in price, but there's a lot of good specs in this watch, so we'll run through that now. Uh, so yeah, the Churas 914. Inside this watch, it's running a Salita SW200. Uh, I'll bring some information about that movement now. Guys, this movement is fantastic. It is a clone of the Eta 2824, uh, which is no problem, to be honest. This, these, these movements are used exclusively, really, uh, by Christopher Ward. It's a brand that has really become more than a micro brand so if they're using them i don't see a problem with a brand like nomadic using them or any other brand using it to be honest so yeah high nice high beat movement the parameters this runs within is fantastic this is about two seconds slower day um over wearing it for a couple of weeks so yeah and you would take that wouldn't you i think yeah that's that's good um so yeah the sw200 the construction of the watch aside from the crystal on the front and back is all 316l stainless steel so you'll see yes the bezel crown case bracelet out of part of the exhibition case back solid end links and the clasp and it's a massive mixture of brushing and polishing so you got polished on the bezel you got brushed to polished to brushed on the case of that faceted edge you got polished on the outer uh, side of the the crown you got brushing at the top of the bracelet polished at the sides uh, you got the clasp that's brushed with polished faceted edge um so yeah a bit of a mixture but as you'd probably expect in terms of the don't worry about some of those scratches, the production model, but it's a review piece. So many, many people have handled this. So, um, but yeah, the, the brushing and polishing is done really, really well. So yeah, 316L stainless steel. 
The case thickness of this watch is 10.8 millimeters. The case diameter I measure from the 8 to the 2, it was coming at 38.9 millimeters. When you go from the 9 to the 3, including the crown, it was coming in at 41.7 millimeters. The lug width on this is 19. <sighs> don't ask, I don't know why they've done that. That does take it down to 16 and back up to 18 mil at the clasp. And the lug to lug tip to tip of the watch is a true lug to lug, given that it's got female end links to the center link. And that was coming in at 47.5 millimeters. So I think they're good proportions, except for the lug width. I don't know why you go over 19. Um, that wouldn't be my, my sort of preferred option, if I'm being honest. But um, that's what they've gone with. So yeah, that's what, they'll, that's what I'll say. So they're the proportions. The case back, as you'd see, they've gone for a, a signed rotor for the Churas 914 Expedition. Um, so there we are. Bits of information on there. Sapphire crystal screwed down. Like I said, bits of information that we're going to run through now anyway. Bezels, high polish, fixed. Crown situated at the 3 o'clock screw down crown. A reasonable amount of pop, as you can see, when it unscrewed from the case. So yeah, we're operating nicely. And there's a nice bracelet. Tapers down from 19 to 16. It's a free mill of taper. Screw pins, just to keep it in place. You've got a fully mill clasp with N for Nomadic on there. You've got the sort of same sort of clasp you're seeing often now. Uh, so you, if you want to open it, you let you pull that out and pull it, pull it and pull if you like, and then you can push it back in to where you want it to be, um, and that's that's it really. Fully milled, like I said, signed of Nomadic on there as well. I have a bit of information on the back of the case back, which you'll see. The crystal covering the dial is a sapphire crystal, so nice legible, nice legibility on this. They've obviously used quite a bit of AR coating. You got sapphire crystal, sapphire crystal, giving you a Exactly, it's a sapphire sandwich. We like a sapphire sandwich. The water resistance of this watch, aside size being 100 meters, so that'd give you 10 atmospheres of water resistance, and the weight will appear in the top right. So, as far as I was concerned, I took one link out for it to fit my wrist. That's the first time I've seen that link. So, I would, with that one link taken out, it was coming in at 144.5 grams. Um, so, yeah, probably about right, just below 150. It's probably about right, given the proportions of the watch. But let's have a look at the dial now, guys, in a bit more detail. So the dial is stunning. It looks like a wood grain. Uh, they, I think they call it black ice. But uh, for me, it just makes me think of wood grain. Um, and that's no bad thing. I do like textured dials. And this is a beautiful textured dial. You've got a minute track going around the outer edge. Inside that, you've got applied elements. What, what, what looks like applied elements. So... You've got a battens everywhere except for the 3, 6, 9, and 12, where you've got numerals, which is what you can see. You've got nomadic just below the 12 o'clock position. So all it all in sort of just bright white um, against that sort of wood grain dial, which actually looks really, really nice. Um, also helps for legibility in terms of what ten and time and stuff. You've got Churas 914 automatic just above the six. And just below the six, you've got built in Belfast, just a nod to the fact um, it is a Northern Irish watch. Uh, I believe it's all assembled in Northern Ireland. They have got Swiss parts and stuff, but it's assembled in Northern Ireland, which is quite a nod to them, to be honest. They're not, they don't produce an awful lot of watches that, in that part of the world, but um, they're doing so now. And then this Nomadic, generally, in comparison to the dive one I had a little while ago, I definitely think this is a far better watch. But um, yeah, nice, nice piece in terms of the, that. You've got the hands, you've got yellow on the second hand, just for a bit of contrast. Um, no counterbalance rid on the seconds. You've got sword hands um, for the hour and minutes. I would say they're a little bit undersized, guys. They could have done with being a couple of mils longer. Um, I do, that's one of the first things that I noticed when I looked at the watch was the hands. I thought they were a bit too short. Loom, what's the loom saying on this, guys? I can tell you right away, guys, I was completely surprised how good the loom was on this. It's better than a lot of divers that I've had in. Like I said, you're going to say, well, it's not an inexpensive watch side, but, and yeah, it's not. Um, but the loom on this, for me, is what truly, truly blew my mind. Um, it makes it a definite guard of watch. It's a sporty piece. I think it makes it a great alternative to the Rolex Explorer. I don't think they've copied them. But it's a nice alternative to that watch. And like I said, the loom just goes and goes. I could have left it even longer and it wouldn't have changed. Um, so yeah, great, great loom on this watch. 
Uh, like I said, SW200, it's normally dated, but this one isn't. There's no one position. You pull the crown out, it stops. So I don't, I'm not going to scroll through, guys, because you know how to tell the time. But um, generally, I would now, I would have gone through just to allow you to see. Let's see if I can do this crown up. There we are. What I try and do, guys, when I do the crown, I screw it the other way and do it this way because it stops it threading. Um, so there we are. But yeah, that's the hands, indices, dial, loom movement. Uh, let me just pop it on the wrist quickly, give you an idea of what it looks like on my wrist. Okay, so guys and girls, this is what it looks like on my wrist. You'll see it's got very, very good legibility. Really, really pretty thing. Uh, like I said, this watch will look at home in any situation, really. I think it's a true Gala watch. Um, looks fantastic, doesn't it? Like I said, two other color variations to choose from. Great movement inside. I think this watch was so close to perfect. Um, but there we are. Okay, so that now take me swiftly on to what I think is pants and pucker about the watch. If you've ever watched before, you know, I always start with pants. I like to go on a high with pucker. So what I think is pants is, guys, there is not a lot. I think this is a fabulous watch. It's the watch the diver should have been. Um, but the two things I want to mention. One, I'm going to say the hand size. You can clearly see those hands are too short. The second hand, not so much, but hour a minute, most definitely. And second of all, the lug width, 19 mil. Guys, please, that should have been 20 all day long. So they're the two things I'm going to mention. I'm going to say the hand size and the lug width. What I think is pucker, an awful lot more. I'm going to go with a sapphire sandwich. I do love a sapphire sandwich. My, it's my second favorite sandwich to a BLT. <laughs> so there we are. The crystal clarity, like I said, not an inexpensive watch. And you're seeing some glare, but those of you that watch my videos regularly will know there's normally a lot more glare than that with the lights that I use. So yeah, that's good to see. The dial, I do think the dial is beautiful. That texture is stunning. The loom, like I said, the loom on this is fabulous. Better than watches that I've had in that are not, ex not inexpensive and a dive watches. So yeah, up there. SW200, so the movement, I think the movement is fantastic. It's going to run and run and run. Uh, the bracelet, the bracelet's super comfortable. Nice bit of tape on there, easy to size. And like I said, just super comfy on wrist. Um, really, really nice. The finishing, like I said, the brushing to polish surfaces, the consistency of the brushing. Um, yeah, I appreciated it. And the general look of the watch. I think the general look of this watch is stunning. Like I said, you just watches at home anywhere. A true go anywhere, do anything watch. So the things I'm going to say is I'm going to go with a sapphire sandwich, the crystal clarity, dial, loom movement, bracelet finishing, and the general look of the watch. Wow. Uh, and that will take me on to now. Would I recommend this watch? And you'll, you'll know, when if you watched my previous um, video when I reviewed the Nomadic Dive Watch, it, it was decent, but I felt like it could have been better. This is all that and then some, to be honest. I think this watch is fantastic. Really, really cool watch. One that I wouldn't rule out owning myself in the future. So, yeah, I definitely would recommend it. But, guys and girls, please let me know what you think about this watch, more importantly. And maybe any other watches you may want to see on the channel. And as always say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And always watch the time. Take care, guys. All the very best. <laughs>